Welcome to my podcast. Today, I'll be talking about the worst trades by the Tampa Bay Lightning in the 21st century. I'll be breaking these trades down by GM. GM Rick Dudley, trading Chris Ryan in a second round pick in 2001, Derek Roy to the Buffalo Sabres for Ryan Holzinger, Wayne Primo, Corey Sarge, and a third round pick in 2000. Alex Kartanov wasn't a good move. Ryan Holzinger didn't make much of an impact for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Wayne Primo was a fourth line player, and Alex Kartanov never made it to the NHL. Chris Grattan was a solid third line center for the Sabres for three seasons. But Derek Roy was a good, solid second line center with the Sabres for many seasons. GM Jake Beaster trading Dan Cloutier to the Vancouver Canucks for Adrian O'Coin and a, a second round pick in 2001. Alexander Pollution was a terrible trade. Adrian O'Coin only played 26 games for the Lightning before being traded to the Islanders. Alexander Pollution uh, returned to play in the KHL after being traded to the Islanders, so he doesn't really factor into this trade. Dan Kuche became a good number one goalie for the Canucks, or with the Canucks, for three seasons. A trading Adrian O'Coy and Alexander Kartanov to the New York Islanders for Matthew Barron and a 2002 second round pick. Dennis Crott was a bad trade. Matthew Barron was a career AHLer, and Dennis Grant never made it to the NHL. Alexander Kartanov returned to play in Russia, like I said before, to play in the KHL, so he doesn't factor into this trade at all. Adrian O'Coin turned into a pretty good top six defenseman in the NHL for both the Islanders and the Blackhawks. Trading Kevin Weeks to the Carolina Hurricanes for Chris Dingman and Shane Willis was a real bad trade. Shane Willis was ne never the same player after the Scott Stevens hit, and he, was, he became a career AHL player. Chris Dingman was an enforcer, so he didn't really make much of a difference on the team, although he was part of 2004 Stanley Cup team. Uh, Kevin Weeks was a good number one goalie in Carolina for three years. Trading the number four pick in the 2002 draft, Yanni Pikkinen, to the Philadelphia Flyers for Ruslan Fedotenko and the second round, second round picks in 2002 was a bad trade. The Lightning used the picks to select Tobias Stefan and Dan Sprang. Neither of the players selected by the Lightning did anything. Meanwhile, uh, Yanni Pikkinen eventually turned into a top pair defenseman with the rival Carolina Hurricanes. It's also worth mentioning that Rusov Benetenko spent four years with the Lightning and was a key member of the 2004 Stanley Cup team, but he wasn't really that much of a difference maker for the Lightning. Trading a eighth round pick in 2004, Pekka Rene, to the Nashville Predators for Timo Hebeling turned out to be a pretty bad trade in hindsight. Timo Hebeling was a career AHLer and he's now playing in the Swiss, Swiss League. Sorry. Uh, Pekka Rene has been the star goalie for the Nashville Predators for the past decade. Trading a second round pick in 2008, Jacob Markstrom, to the Florida Panthers for Chris Gratton was a terrible trade. Chris Gratton was at the end of his career and he did nothing for the Lightning. Jacob Markstrom can still be a number one goalie in the NHL if he gets the opportunity. Um, trading Vinnie Prosper to the Philadelphia Flyers for Alexander Picard and the 2009 second round pick, Richard Panic was a horrible trade in hindsight. 
Alexander Picard was a career AHLer, and Richard Panic didn't make much of an impact for the Lightning. Benny Crossbow was a great second line player, player for the Flyers, Rangers, and Blue Jackets after the trade. Trading Brad Richards and Johan Holmquist to the Dallas Stars for UC Jokinen, Jeff Halpern, Mike Smith, and a 2009 fourth round pick, Kyle Bigos, was a horrible trade. UC Jokinen was not a great fit in Tampa Bay, and Jeff Halpern was a fourth line center at best. Mike Smith was a mediocre backup goalie in Tampa Bay. Kyle Pigos didn't make it to the NHL. Meanwhile, Brad Richards became the number one center in Dallas for four seasons. GM Brian Lawton traded Dan Boyle and Brad Lukowicz to the San Jose Sharks for Matt Carl, Ty Richard, and the 2009 first round pick, Kyle Palmieri as well as the 2010 fourth round pick, James Mullen, was a real terrible trade. The 2009 first round pick was used to select Kyle Palmieri, but eventually that pick was traded to the Ottawa Senators in a deal for Andre Massaros. James Mullen hasn't made it to the NHL yet. Ty Richard is now playing in the IHL. Matt Carl only played 12 games for the Lightning before being traded to the Philadelphia Flyers. Dan Boyle was an elite offensive defenseman with the San Jose Sharks. Brad Lukowicz was a nice veteran defenseman to have on the team as a 6th or 7th defenseman. This trade basically turned into Dan Boyle and Brad Lukowicz for Matt Carl, which is a pretty bad trade. Trading Philip Kuba, Alexander Card, and the first round pick in 2009, Kyle Palmieri, to the Ottawa Senators for Andre Mazaros was a pretty dreadful trade. Andre Mazaros only played two seasons with the Lightning before they figured out that he wasn't that top pair defenseman they were looking for. Philip Kuba was a top six defenseman. For the Ottawa Senators. And the first round pick that the Lightning traded away became Kyle Palmieri, who also turned into a pretty good player. Trading Matt Carl and the 2009 third round pick, Simon Bertilson, to the Philadelphia Flyers for Steve Downey, Steve Eminger, and the 2009 fourth round pick, Alex Hutchings was a pretty horrible trade. Steve Eminger was traded to the Florida Panthers later that season. Steve Downey actually played well in three seasons with the Lightning before they traded him to the Colorado Avalanche. Alex Hutchings never played in the NHL. Matt Carl had three very good seasons with the Philadelphia Flyers. Trading UC Opening to the Carolina Hurricanes for Wade Brookbank and Joseph Melikar was a terrible trade. Neither Wade Brookbank or Joseph Melikar made an impact for the Lightning. UC Opening rebound his game in Carolina, and he is now playing on the Florida Panthers. Trading Mark Recchi in a second round pick in 2010, which eventually got traded to the Boston Bruins for Martins, Carstums, and Matt Lashoff was a horrible trade. Martin Carstums was a career HLer, and Matt Lashoff still really hasn't make an, made an impact at the NHL yet. Mark Recchi played three years in Boston and helped the Bruins win the 2001 or 2011 Stanley Cup. Sorry about that. Trading Radim Verbata to the Phoenix Coyotes for David Hale and Todd Fedorik was a, one of the worst trades the Lightning made. David Hale was already a bust at the time the Lightning made this move. Todd Fedorik was nothing more than an enforcer. Meanwhile, Radim Verbata 
found success at Phoenix and became a top six scoring winger with the Phoenix Coyotes and would go on to score 20 or more goals three times in his five seasons with the Coyotes. GM Steve Yagerman trading Sebastian Curran a second and two second round picks to the Nashville Predators for Anders Lindback, Kyle Wilson, and a 2012 seventh round pick, Nikita Gusev, was not a good move. Anders Lindback was obviously not the number one goalie Tampa Bay was looking for. In fact, he was so bad, they started to look for another number one goalie 20 games into the season. Kyle Wilson didn't do anything for the Lightning either. It doesn't matter who the Predators drafted because giving up two seconds and a third for an unproven goalie are the worst trades by the Lightning in the 21st century. Next, I'll be doing something a little different on this podcast. I'll be redoing key free agent signings. Um, I'll be redoing key free agent signings in 2001. 